Death Stranding is a very good example why we need VRR enabled on the PlayStation 5. But not just VRR. To get the full potential from VRR, we also need a proper 120Hz solution on the PlayStation 5. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armok Fall. VRR in the proper 120Hz mode, those two things I'm missing on my PlayStation 5. And I can already read the comments about what is the guy talking about. We have a 120Hz solution on the PlayStation 5. Yes, but not a proper solution as we know it on the Xbox Series. And of course I like to show you what I'm talking about. Let's jump into the settings into screen and video and what we have here is enable 120 hertz output for supported games so all what you can do here is actually off and automatic and i would like to have a third option called on i like to display playstation 5 regardless of the what i'm what i'm displaying game the store or whatsoever, I like to have a 120 hertz output all the time. And the reason is, first of all, input lag. In the 60 hertz mode, we're talking about six, uh, sorry, 14 milliseconds input lag. In the 120 hertz mode, we're talking about seven milliseconds input lag. That's a huge improvement in my opinion, okay? And in some games, you clearly can feel this. In, very uh, fast uh, ego shooters you clearly can feel or i can clearly see the difference between 14 and 7 milliseconds input lag in yeah slower games like maybe death stranding it's a little bit hard but you get my point then a very nice or big advantage would be um, the picture clearness or motion clearness because even we're talking about a game like death stranding in 60 fps if we now displaying this in 120 hertz, we would have a little bit of a clearer picture, sharper picture over 60 hertz, because displaying the picture 120 times per second over just 60 times per second will give you a little bit of a sharper and clearer picture, okay? Those are the two main advantages in my opinion. And the last thing actually is because in my opinion, it's state of the art right now. 120 hertz is the, it, it, that's the way to go. I have a 120 hertz display here. I like to use it. I like to use the full potential of this 120 hertz display. And I can't see why we still don't have this feature. Okay, so let's talk about performance. Let's talk about the different picture modes in this game and why, in my opinion, the only right way to use VRR is in combination with 120 hertz output. But of course I will explain this to you why. Let's start with the different picture modes and I'm quite sure you already watched Digital Foundry and you learned that the performance mode has a perfect 60 FPS output, 1800p resolution and perfect 60 FPS. So if you like to have the best 60 FPS experience, go with the performance mode, but to be very honest, I would actually recommend to play this game in quality mode because then you get native 4K and in 90 to 95% of the time, this game is running in perfect 60 FPS. The visual mode on the PlayStation 5 for Death Stranding is far away from being perfect in terms of 60 FPS, like you can see here at this very moment. I'm experiencing here a lot of stuttering, most likely because of the water and the fog in the background looks like a uh, yeah, heavy GPU load at the moment, but this is when we would need VRR to compensate those frame drops from 62, let's say down to 40, 45, 50 FPS. This is when we need VRR and not just this. I like to explain now why I like to have VRR and 120 Hertz at the same time. So let me just go over there to be safe. In let's say 90-95% of the time this game runs in 60 FPS in the visual mode. And that means to me actually that most likely in 90-95% to of the time this game runs with more or 
the game or the console is capable of running this game with more than 60 fps because i don't think that right now we just have 60 fps i mean of course we just have 60 fps because we're limiting the game just to 60 fps vsync is enabled 60 hertz output 60 frames per second okay maximum 60 fps if we now would disable vsync we would probably see a much higher frame rate not quite sure what but it depends of course what is the gpu load maybe if we just looking on the ground we can see 80 fps if we're looking in a very high or demand like this here very high gpu load maybe we just have 62 frames per second but even we're just talking about two frames or five frames more 62 65 i like to have those frames i like to have a higher frame rate that's what is vrr about not just to compensate lower frame rate below 60 fps it's also very good to show more frames per second and this is why we need to use 120 hertz output because if we just have a 60 hertz output we can never never display more than 60 fps because we have vsync enabled on our console because otherwise otherwise you would end up with a lot of screen tearing and this is not nice to watch of course so this is a very simple explanation why in my opinion vrr is just working perfectly with a 120 hertz output okay my friends i think that's enough for this video i made my point clear why i think when we're using vrr then just in combination with 120 hertz output because limiting it to 60 hertz is wasting a lot of potential in my opinion so i would love to read your comments about or your opinion about 120 hertz vrr on the playstation 5 and what do you think actually why we don't have this feature yet on the console so I've, i have my own theory and this has something to do with sony tvs but that's just my own opinion i would love to read your opinion about this topic as well and if you're new to my channel you know the drill please subscribe to my channel leave me a like like leave me a comment i would much appreciate it okay thank you very much and i'll see you guys next time bye